Well, howdy there, you low-down, dirty varmints. It's good to see you again. I've been busy with my new job, growing space grass on the dark side of the moon, so it's good to see you all back here again. In today's video, we'll be checking out a brand new version of the Jeffrey 2.69, and also a new soldering technique. Yee-haw! Well, howdy, you flea-bitten varmints. Welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern day technology. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the latest version of the Jeffrey printed circuit board, version 2.69. We're gonna take a look at the circuit board and how it's different from the ones before it. We're gonna look at a different flat soldering technique where I use masking tape. We're going to balance an eye spindle to 25 degrees in pure water with the new circuit board. And when we're assembling the circuit board, we're going to be using a D1 Mini Pro, and that has a ceramic antenna on it. And somewhere in this video, we're going to be giving away the Jeffrey 2.69. Stay tuned. So let's start off about talking about what's different in this version of the Jeffrey. It's really not that much. What we've done is we've rotated the temperature probe 180 degrees. So now that curved part of the temperature probe meets up with the curved portion of the petling that it sits in. Aside from that, we've replaced the perforated area at the bottom with giant solder pads that can be used to balance the eye spindle to 25 degrees in pure water. The advantage of this over previous versions is that in previous versions you had to somehow affix a weight like a bolt or something. This doesn't require anything else but a soldering iron and the solder you already have. And you'd be surprised that you don't actually need that much solder in order to balance the eye spindle. Next up, let's talk about the flat soldering technique. All you have to do is put masking tape on the bottom. Instead of soldering from the bottom, we're actually going to go ahead and solder from the top. It doesn't actually matter what side we solder from, because of how the through holes are designed, the electrical connection is going to be fine either way. When soldering in the pins for the gyroscope, just solder one pin in first and get everything perfectly aligned straight. After that, go ahead and solder everything else. You can see on the bottom when we're all done, we get a very nice smooth surface and that won't interfere with the battery holder or the battery. Now, as I mentioned before, we're using a different D1 Mini in this build, and it does actually have a different weight to it. So we're going to have to do some extra balancing here. The difference between this D1 Mini and the ones you've seen in my previous videos is this one's actually 16 megabytes, which is something you don't need. You can use the 4 megabyte. That should be fine. And it also has a ceramic antenna instead of the printed circuit board antenna that we're kind of used to seeing, that squiggly copper line. So because this has a different weight than the other D1 Minis we've used, uh, we're gonna have to do some little extra balancing for this eye spindle. After I get this little fella all assembled up, it turns out he's floating at about 34.17 degrees in pure water, and that's not close enough to the 25 degrees where we need to be. So I pull this sucker out of his little petling, and I put some solder on the end. And be forewarned, I put entirely too much solder on this guy. I'll also mention that the battery's already installed in the lowest possible position, so we can't move it down in order to uh, decrease the degrees in pure water. The only way we can do that is by adding some weight to the eye spindle. After adding the solder, let's put the eye spindle back into the water and see how it floats. If we look, now it's floating at 21.31 degrees in pure water. That's quite the change. I wonder how much the weight changed. When we weigh it up, we get a difference of 0.6 grams and actually a degrees difference of 12.86. Pretty substantial. It just goes to show that a small change in weight can equate to a large change in degrees. So now I have to remove some solder in order to increase the degrees in pure water. I tried different methods, but I found the easiest way was just to use the end of the soldering iron and basically just flick the solder off the soldering pad. 
When it's all said and done, we weigh it up again, and we're at 0.4 grams heavier than where we started, and we're 9.74 degrees difference. Our final reading in pure water is 24.43 degrees, and that is right dead on with the 25 degrees that we were shooting for, and that's a massive win. So in summary, today we saw the Jeffrey 2.69 and how it was different from its previous versions. We saw a new way of balancing the eye spindle using the solder pad method in the video. We also saw a technique of using masking tape to get very flat, shallow solders. And we also did the Jeffrey Printed Circuit Board 2.69 giveaway during this video. So if you haven't already, come follow me on Instagram, and in a week or two, I'll be giving away the Jeffrey to one of my followers. Good luck. If your friend calls you up during COVID times and says, hey buddy, let's go drinking at the bar, you tell him, no man, I'm going to stay home and watch OpenSourceDistilling.com.